I am right in the middle of doing client readings and I decided to do Portia and and her new man. Um what the fuck is his name? Simon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Simon and Fallon and like the six other women that I've been seeing running around in the metaphysical trying to stop this union of Portia and Simon. I decided, well, what the heck? I like fun. I like joy. I like happiness. And my grandma wanted me to be all made up. She said, you look like a refugee. And I said, well, today I'm going to look like a refugee because I just cannot make up for client day. Oh my God. No. Okay. So this is it. The reading. The re I'm I'm excited i don't know about you all but i'm excited i love these things i just i love these things where the metaphysical gets busy where i actually get to see africans in action where i actually get to see africa doing its thing in north america that is just too much but that is so exciting it's nerve biting so i'm hoping that the winds will bring us some amazing shit and um already as i was sitting here getting ready i heard uh, my, my grandmother say to me fallen and Portia and Simon, Fallon being on Real Housewives of Atlanta was part of the deal for her to go quietly, go to the left quietly, okay? She demanded it from Portia and Simon that if you want me to go quietly and you want me to go prettily, you, you make me a star. You put me on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And Portia made it happen that's how much she wanted this man that's how much she wants her husband because we were also told early this morning by a very irate wife of simon's that um they already married they already married but we're not sure about that we're gonna throw shells we're gonna throw shells okay so welcome to the board of the bantu and by the time you watch this on youtube patreon would already have watched it because i'm waiting for my energy to get a little old because i'm at war with harvesters united harvesters incorporated i'm at war with your asses and i just want to make life a little difficult and we discovered that if if, if a video or a picture is not recent current 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 energy you bitches are gonna have trouble uh dragging my ass so you know dragging my energy so you know i figured uh yeah the patreon th those harvesters can attempt it because they are paying my my bills for me which is what i badly need but youtube no you ain't getting a free ride so you youtube is gonna watch this a week later but patreon is gonna watch it as soon as it is done because i'm too excited to even wait all righty shall we go we are doing Portia, Simon, Fallon, and Simon's other wives. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Grandma said, how can you forget? How can you forget? Welcome to the board of the Bantu. Where is my little, my rattle? Where's my rattle? Where's my rattle? The Bantu, the Bantu who believe in the living God and the elements, air, earth, water, see, I even forgot, <laughs> and fire. <laughs> we believe in Mother Nature and all her babies and every single thing that she has put in this world can either heal or kill. It is up to the witch doctor to decide whether they're gonna be a healer or a killer. And so we get our ancestors brought to us by God himself because God is kind, God is loving, God is gracious. Not, not forgiving, but God is gracious and God is just, just. When you get the justice card in your tarot readings, understand that that is God right there. God is just. And when it is upside down, it means God ain't feeling good about you. Or, or if you're African, a, meta, a metaphysical practitioner has closed your road to God, which means that you have to consecrate, consecrate like you're going to church so that nobody fucks with your road to God. Nobody should fuck with your road to God. So the Bantu, <laughs> consecrators, believers of the living God and mother nature herself, believers of energy, how it moves, how it works, how you can manipulate it. Believers that they're the world's greatest. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> because we're all God's children. Welcome to the board of the Bantu, especially the board of the Kosa, the Kosa rule right here, the Kosa. This is their board, the Kosa and their bitches. <laughs> This is their board, and this is their baby girl, Isabel Mitten. This is your board, all ye Bantu, from one end of Africa to the next. Shall we begin? And this has nothing to do with Bantus today, okay? This is Simon, who is a nylot from Nigeria over there. And as we have discovered via the metaphysical, nylots are really of Arabic origin. So this is about a man who thousands of years ago was is of Arabic origin and about Portia, who definitely has some Bantu DNA as well as some nylotic DNA. So she's not lost. She's home. She's home with Simon. She be home with Simon. Okay. <laughs> She be home with Simon. So this is about two nylots, okay? Portia and Simon. And Fallon, who also has some nylotic blood. So hey, this, uh, this right, reading right here are the Bantus not minding their own business. And we love that. <laughs> yes, we can leave the Togoloshis at home. <laughs> We can leave the Togoloshis at home and enter the demonic territory of the Nylons. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Although it is my learned opinion that we ought to send some Togoloshis to the Nylons. They ain't never seen shit like that. I totally want to start a war between dark practitioners, nylons versus bantus. <laughs> the nylons will see things they've never seen before. They will, they, they will experience things they never thought was possible. <laughs> Vice versa. And the bantus will experience the same thing too. Hopefully they will annihilate each other. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, they'll annihilate each other. Then the rest of us can be safe. I mean. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. My ancestors are saying like I should literally have done it in water, but I, did, I didn't bring a bowl of water. So I'm probably going to stop this video halfway, go get a bowl of water, and then... um. Nope, they are insistent that it is water. So, okay, I'm going to stop this video right now and I'm going to get a bowl of water. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> As you can see, the board of the Bantu, the colors have changed. The colors have changed from my earth ancestors to my water ancestors. Welcome for the very first time ever, ever, ever to my water ancestors. Water ancestors are gold, and you can see I got gold. And welcome, I would like you to all to help me welcome my grandma Notando. Grandma Notando has taken over from Grandma Shopezai. Grandma Shopezai is blue. Grandma Notando is gold. She is a water ancestor, and she's gonna be leading this here that has become a class for me. I, I intended to have fun, but I guess I'm not, I'm not allowed to have fun, okay? And it has become a class for me, a class for water reading and shells and I think exciting things are going to be happening here. I hope I get it all right. I hope I get it all right. So if you watch me stammering a little bit, understand that Grandma Notando is teaching her baby girl. And Grandma Notando is a different personality. She she is where I got the term metaphysical science from. She said to me, we are metaphysical scientists. Never forget that. Metaphysical scientists. We are scientists, okay? We are scientists. So, she is not a people person. And she just says, damn right, ain't got time for people. She is not a people person. She has a temper. So, tempers might flare over here. She is just um, my grandmother. <laughs> okay? She's my grandma. Okay? And that's all there is to it. 
and she is now in charge of this board and Grandma Shopezai has stepped aside so that Grandma Notando can do her thing. So we're gonna do both. Grandma Notando has decided to do both. She's gonna do water. She says because water shows you actual visions and she's gonna do shells because she said what well, shells are more precise and I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a beginner. You know what I'm saying? She would like me to do more water readings. So um, hopefully that's one of them. All right, so this is water. This is pure water, just water from the tap. I just went and I got water from the tap and I just put it in a bowl. You know, the bigger the bowl, the better. But I don't have huge bowls in this house. I'm a minimalist, so yeah, I don't have much. Okay, then uh, these are the shells, as you all know them to be. And she would like me to chant on the water a little bit and then scatter it, scatter it on the shells. Okay. Okay, I was asking my water ancestors to congregate. Okay, so I've scattered a few. Okay, so here we go. Hopefully, I won't forget. Hopefully, Grandma Notando will not get too enthralled and I will forget. Alrighty, so here comes. What you are just witnessing and experiencing is real African witch doctors over here. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm going to call. Okay, blow. I have to blow. Okay, now I'm gonna call Portia. Oh, I say Portia, and a delay falls onto the table. We'll get back to the delay. Portia, ooh, and another one falls onto the right flat out onto the ground. Portia is not having a good time. Things are not going Portia's way. What has been taken from you, Portia? Her independence. Her independence has been taken away from her. Okay, Portia. Oopsie daisy. Portia walks into the plate. She's very, she's she's looking like a wildling, okay? A wild one. She walks into the plate and she's looking. <laughs> surrounded by darkness darkness is coming from each side and she's never seen that before in her entire life and she's like what the fuck is this what is this oh my god and the darkness is coming it hasn't yet engulfed her but the darkness is coming and behind the darkness are the women we felt last night we felt them all day they behind the darkness are a bunch of women one is considerably older she must be like 48 49 and uh one the youngest here is like 23 22 then one is very elegant she's very tall she looks like Portia she's like in her 30s and then there are two more one is the closest to Portia she's a big chunky po she's the closest to Portia in in um in 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 distance she's a big chunky she's light-skinned she must be like 27 28 and she's going <sniffs> africans would know what i what that means <sniffs> africans would know that what that means basically it means i'm pissed bitch i'm pissed Okay, it means that I, I, yeah, you, it means that you're not a human being to me. You're an animal and I shall treat you like an animal because you're not a human being. It means a whole lot of things. So please Africans share below what it means to you and how you guys do it. I know that we do it like this. Okay, same thing. So anyway, she is closer to Portia and she has Portia's leg. She's tied Portia's leg. She has tied Portia's ankle. So whatever she is doing to Portia, Portia is receiving through her, the bottom of her feet. 
and for those who are on my patreon who take the higher package i'm going to talk about securing your feet because that is a very vulnerable area and i can see she whatever she's sending to portia she's sending under her feet we saw this morning that this particular one her name starts with an n uh, n n okay this particular i'm gonna call her miss n this particular one she she claims portia's life and portia's house and everything as hers she has walked in portia's house once or twice but she didn't walk into the house as um she didn't walk into the house as a friend of portia she walked into the house when her husband simon was buying the house she believed the house to be hers she says she did some rituals for that house and then lo and behold portia got it she did rituals for that house because she wants a bigger house she lives in america with him he married her in america i mean marrying her the african way in america and she said he promised her a house after the birth of her second child and she was looking at houses and she saw that house and she fell in love with it and she told him this is the house i want and then he went and he bought it for his baby so she says that's her house okay she that's that's her house she says and she's talking which is what happens when the water ancestors are there she says she 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 doesn't care she doesn't care that he's marrying Portia. She does not care. She, she doesn't give two hoots. He can marry whoever he wants and how he wants. But that house he put her in is her house. That's now that he's upgrading her. Anyway, she's going to get another house. But that house is her house. It's in her name. Her house. Portia's house. And this is something her husband should not have done so she is going after portia because of her house and she says i want to punish my husband for what he did to me i obviously can't punish him because he's my provider so i gotta punish the woman he's in love with right now this love she says miss n says is gonna fizzle out once simon gets you you don't matter no more he moves on to his next quarry that's how he works she says don't you think that we were also not romanced. Don't you think that we were also not given this kind of love? We were. Our families were so proud of us. We brought them an amazing son-in-law who loved, 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 loved their daughter. Don't you think so? But once you give him a child or two, and once you're his wife, he is settled. He says, well, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? And we can't go anywhere these american girls they can go because they are cultureless they have no culture they have no culture but we can't go anywhere you know what i'm talking about my sister she means me you know that once we get married it is forever especially if you marry someone who already has wives where are you going to go where are you going to go this is the african way so i'm going to punish portia for taking my house even if she doesn't know that she took my house i'm going to punish her for it that's why I'm here. That's what I care about. I want my house. Okay. So we got Miss N. She really can talk. Now we've got... There is a first wife here who is not saying a word. Okay. She says, why should I? I control and own Simon. I'm just making sure that Portia doesn't think otherwise why should i okay then there is the hysterical one that we saw uh the one who kept saying god forbid god forbid god forbid okay she must be distantly related to the first wife there's a relationship here because she's leaning on the first wife she is saying he doesn't love me he just saw me and thought I was beautiful and he came after me and it ruined my life. Now I've got kids with him and I'm married and I cannot leave. And he promised me after he divorces, after he gets rid, it, it, is, it wasn't even a divorce. In our eyes, she was never his wife. She's talking about Fallon. In our eyes, she wasn't his wife. She never came to family gatherings. And she never did what daughters-in-law do. We were there. We are there. We are the wives. 
Okay, so after he got rid of that one, he promised me that he would bring me to America. He would send for me and I would live in America because I want to continue with my education. What does he do? He goes and he marries another one. I don't care how he marries her. He can stand in any court of law. I don't care. She's not his wife. It's not one of us. She's, she's cultureless. She's just like the other one. He's just playing. And then if you notice that she looks like me, which is true. That's what I always saw yesterday. Have you noticed that she looks like me? She looks like me. And yet he can't bring me to America so that I can go to college, so that I can educate myself. I am the mother of his children and he can't do that for me. I'm not asking for much. I'm not wanting to control his dick. I just want to be in America. I can't be here. I can't be here. Oh my God, I can't be here. I can't. I can't. I'm trapped. So yes, this new one is going to get it. And the others are dead quiet, which is a relief because this was going to take forever. <laughs> This was going to take forever. Okay, and I haven't even called Simon, but guess what? Simon walks in. They are his women, and he walks in to the back of his women. And I haven't called you, dude. I haven't called you. And he says, I have very strong energy. I go where my wives go because I am tied to my wives energetically. We knew that. We knew he was a harvester. Uh, 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 we knew it. 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 Of course. We knew it. He said, of course. How does a man get richer? Through his women. Through the mothers of his children. He eats those so that their children can eat. How am I supposed to support so many women? Through their energy. Women are stupid. Men are the movers and shakers of the world. We need that energy. Okay, so I'm going to officially um, call Simon. In. No, I, I'm not going to call. Ugh, well, he's already in, Grandma says, so I got to call him. Okay, I'm going to officially call him. I really did want um, to, to, to do Portia by herself and Portia and her co-wives by herself. But then you know what? So first we'll go to this that fell. A pregnancy has been delayed. So it's like Portia is either pregnant or trying to get pregnant and it has been delayed. She's having trouble. And the moment I say it, even if she is pregnant, she's having trouble. Are we seeing a pregnancy, Grandma? Grandma says, it, if, if she's pregnant, it will be an interesting pregnancy because the bell hasn't rung in heaven. Let's put it that way. It'll be an interesting one. And as we say that, these women are laughing. Ha, 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 ha. Maybe they're about to drop her uterus. <laughs> I'm laughing and they are laughing too. <laughs> and one of them said, you see, my sister, you see. We have to do what we have to do. Anyway, a pregnancy was delayed or has been delayed or Portia is in the process of having a baby. But Grandma Notando is shaking her head. She's saying she may be in the process of having a baby. But mm -mm. Mm -mm. something is not quite right here. God withheld this soul. So whatever she has, probably from what do do I? Oalea Odudua is um he is um over Tala's boss and Oralea probably probably because God has withheld this pregnancy. Okay, he has withheld the soul, it has been delayed, and the women in this plate had something to do with that. One of them is saying God is for us all. Oh my god! Oh my god! Grandma 
watch your face and just say to me, now you're behaving like you're floozy, like your grandma don't handle. She calls grandma don't handle the floozy. <laughs> Forgive me, people. I'm enjoying myself tremendously. <laughs> this is the best drama ever. It's like these women are bored. And it's like this is what they have to do to entertain themselves. Okay. All right. <sighs> Grandma Chopin's says I have to take charge. Breathe. Breathe. Now carry on with the reading. Okay. And so anyway, Miss God for us all. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to call Simon into the place. Simon. 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 So Simon. He's... The energy that was on that came into the plate was the energy that he conjoins with his wives. He joins his energy with his wives, of course. That's how he drains them of their metaphysical wealth and of all the other things. He is not, he says, and that's how he hides his face. He is saying to me, because he just stepped in behind that energy, and he is saying to me that that's how I hide my face. I'm a very cruel man. So I use the beautiful faces of my wives. So what are you using? What are you taking from Portia? Her fame. Her star. Her star. Of all my wives, she's the only one with the star. I took from my other wives their intelligence. My particular wife, the one who's making the most noise about coming to America, she's very intelligent. She's brilliant. And I take a lot of her intelligence. So why would I want to send it to college? Really, women don't think. If she goes to college now, she's using her energy more to study. And I will get less of her energy in able to beat my opponent in business. No. She's not going to college. And so the poor soul of this wife has just heard that and she's screaming. But wife number one, uh, in the Shona culture I grew up in, she has a name, Valhosi. Wife number one, Valhosi. It, it's, it's probably, it means the she elephant, the emperor, the bitch who rules, the crawl, the bitch who has it all. She is very quiet, very dignified. She's rolling her eyes. She can't be bothered. And she says to me, he doesn't have my energy. He doesn't have my energy. I am the one who chooses his women for him and who chooses the type of energy to go for. Fallon might have had star power, but she's weak. Her energy was weak. This one here, this new addition to the family, her energy is strong. The family needs it. He does what he must for the family. So she, he comes and he stands next to first wife. And they hold each other's hands. She's the bitch in charge. The wife who was saying, God forbid, is screaming and running around the plate. And she's crying. This is the soul that's that's crying. I want to cover her up in compassion, but Grandma Notad says we ain't got time for that. <laughs> Let bitch cry. <laughs> okay, so she's crying, and the one who said God is for us all. She is very satisfied and very sedate, and so is the other one. So it's like. Some of these other souls, they already knew about it. And the one who is putting something, things through Portia's legs is busy. She can't be bothered with the conversation. <laughs> you know, like a bicycle pump. You know, the old bicycle pumps. If you're my age, you know the old bicycle pumps. Because these days, they've been like electric ones and shit. You know, the uh, bicycle pumps. That's, she's busy. She, she, she's not about the business of being distracted. <laughs> She's not, she's not about, Miss Ed, she's not about the business of being distracted from what she's doing. She's, like, <laughs> she, she's above the drama. She is just, she's 
she's just pumping it, Portia. So Simon, we knew, was a harvester. And this is metaphysical science. Yes, we saw that in his face. We saw that he was a harvester, a hardcore harvester. What is a harvester? Um, ask, go on my Instagram. You'll find out. I'm always on Instagram. I have an intimate relationship with my Instagram followers where most of my harvesters are. So it's all very exciting. So she, he's a harvester. He uses other people's energies and he uses other people's metaphysical wealth. So Simon is taking his wife's metaphysical wealth and making it his own. And of all his wives, wife number three has the most, the one who is very intelligent. She has the most metaphysical wealth and she's crying her heart out over here she has the most metaphysical wealth and she seems to have some psychic abilities as well right so yeah he's using a lot of her energy so that's how simon makes his money he makes his money by harvesting he himself as a person does he have metaphysical wealth grandma says he has a little bit not much but yes he collects from his wives well at least he makes them his wives you know and he provides, you know, he provides because these women have a really good lifestyle. So let me take out the, 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 the African polygamy and their men and put them on the board before we go to water to get really great descriptions and also another story. Oh my God. Okay. This relationship is not gonna last but it's not gonna end well either there's gonna be a lot of noise a lot of fighting and a lot of loss hmm who's losing Portia what is she losing it, it, her life her entire life was, I mean, I, I don't mean she's dying. She's just losing her entire, like everything is being taken from her. And who's losing here? Portia again. What is she losing? Her independence, her energy, her inability to function, her health. Her fertility, her joy, her love from people, her energy, her sanity again, everything. Okay. All righty. And this is what we have. And who's who and who's where? Okay. Well, Portia is to the left. Okay, so this is Portia right here. And this is the husband. He is responsible for the delayed pregnancy. He is responsible for it. This is the husband right here. This is the delayed pregnancy. Grandma said to take it off the board. He is responsible for it. He somehow is using the energy in her. Uh, oh, this is so. See, Grandma said to take water. Okay, let's have water. Okay. He harvests his babies from the belly, from the womb. That's the best. He, he harvests them. He, he harvests their energies for himself. So maybe Portia is, oh, no, when grandma, grandma, grandma said, whatever. He harvests them. 
straight from the belly. This is a very cruel man, you guys. This man does so much juju. Oh my God, he's a typical African businessman. And his victims are mostly women and sons, his sons. Women and his sons. Oh my God, he just does gross things. Because what we are seeing here is him doing a ritual to get to Portia's belly. He actually wants a child very badly from inside that belly because that will tie them together forever. Is there a pregnancy? Grandma said, don't ask that again. So I'm not going to ask again. Um... She said it, do, it depends with where the soil is coming from and we're not getting that the soil is coming from God. We are getting that he delayed it. So there could be a soul, but we wouldn't know where it's coming from. So don't ask that. Okay. So he is a real hardcore practitioner, but he also has practitioners who work with him. His father was also a businessman, a very successful businessman. So he's like a second or third generation businessman and their family has always done this. So the first wife is always like a practitioner. The first wife is like a practitioner always and she helps him in his jobs he's never lost any money in business he just makes more and more but you can't exactly tie him to that which gives him money he's ruthless but he is very emotional deep down in his heart he really wants to feel love and to feel something but it's like every woman he even feels anything for he has to sacrifice he has a mother or someone he calls his mother she oversees all the activities he and his wife do this is some dark shit. Ugh. Dark shit for real. Okay, so what we have here is um, Simon on this side. One of his wives is pregnant. Okay, and uh, Portia actually knows about this. Portia is fighting with pregos. <laughs> Portia is actually fighting with Pregos and she's fighting with the other woman, his first wife. Portia has no clue that there are other wives here. One, two, three. Okay. And then number four, who is actually in Portia's, in Portia's territory. The one who is very busy with herself. She couldn't care less. Her soul couldn't care less that I'm giving a reading. She's doing her, her, her shit. So anyway, there is this one who actually lives close to Portia. Her house is not too far from Portia, but Portia doesn't know of her existence. See how interesting this is. Portia believes that he has, Simon has a baby mama and an ex-wife. This is what she believes in her head. This is what Simon has told her. Simon has told her baby mama and ex-wife. So Portia is fighting with those two, right? She's re like verbally fighting, mouthing, mouthing mouthing right she is verbally fighting and she can't see that behind uh those uh two are uh, these three other females right here and that one who is uh fighting with uh Portia and the pregnant one she's very busy <laughs> She is very busy, okay. But the power of first wife can be seen and felt over here. She is pulling all of Portia's life to her. All of Portia's life to her. She's pulling it. And she's also pulling Simon's life. Yeah, the power of the first wife is strong here, people. The power of Valhosi is, is kicking. She's literally got all of Portia's life and Simon's life. And Simon does not love Portia. Not at all. 
And he says he likes her a lot. He says, I like her a hell of a lot. She's fun. She's obedient. She's submissive. She's an ideal wife. I like her a lot. But she irritates me sometimes. He, well, let me put it this way. He likes her better than all his other wives. Okay. And she kind of loves him, but she loves the things that he does for her. And he is... She is very much a submissive partner to him. She's very much, please take care of me. And he's very much, I'll take care of you, right? But I see that wife, wife number, whoever, whoever said it is right, he's already looking for something else, for another energy, because he believes, he believes he's got Portia exactly where he wants her. He's already looking. Oh. Okay, so water. Grandma Tombi says Grandma Tombi says water. You're supposed to be learning. Okay, to water. Now I have to actually kneel to to you know, I would usually do the water on the floor with maybe I will one day on the floor with me sitting on the floor, but the water is too high. Okay, he's see harvesters, they make me sleepy. He's already making me sleepy. Mm -hmm. they give me an energy okay so what do we have here Portia is like one of the shallowest women in town she is shopping enjoying the shopping enjoying Simon's money she is shopping and shopping she's shopping for her daughter Pilar, she's, she's, she's literally shopping for Pilar. She's so excited. She's so happy. Her mother isn't, though. Her mother is warning her about these African men. She's telling her, I've heard some things. But Portia is shopping. Portia can't be bothered. As far as Portia is concerned, she got the bag. She got the bag and fuck all you all. She is, she can't be bothered. Portia can't be bothered, people. Mm -hmm. She can't be bothered. Portia is... She doesn't care. She, she She's not caring. She is shopping and she is talking about how his ex-wife bothers her, but she's going to handle the ex-wife and how that baby mama bothers her, but she's going to handle her. And as long as they stay in Nigeria or wherever he's from, she don't give a fuck. She doesn't give a fuck. Portia doesn't have a clue about what is going on here and reading her is like a total waste of time because I'm actually seeing her walking on Rodeo Drive shopping. She's buying handbags and she's buying handbags for Pilar. She is about herself and her daughter right now and out doing the neighbors. She's also looking for a house a big house or he is building a house he's building a house or she's looking for a house but anyway that's that that's all i'm getting in the water is Porsche shopping so now let me move Porsche forward now i'm seeing her on the couch she's so tired she can't move she's so exhausted and she's confused she is confused she doesn't know what the fuck is going on she's been trying to have a baby i don't she may be no i'm not i'm not allowed to mention this one but she may be attempting or trying to have a baby in the future so whatever is going on here with her womb we're going to skip it so we'll, we'll go on to the next one she'll be trying to have a baby but it's not happening she's so tired she's going to take fertility pills and go to see doctors and she just doesn't understand why it's not happening but her marriage is not making her happy anymore her husband has become an absentee husband it's not making her happy and she's beginning to feel like she made a mistake this is why are we calling her her husband because one of the wives is convinced she is convinced that um they are married already she's convinced so um we're going with the convincing of one of the wives so here we are she really likes to wear these floral loose dresses. It's as if he is remaking her into a decent woman. Is he a Muslim? I mean, I'm just asking. People do let me know because I, I, 
I don't know these people. He is making her change her wardrobe, change the way she she represents herself, and she's wearing this floral wide dress in the house. Definitely, a house is being built. It's a house that's being built because she's walking in it, checking it out, dreaming about having kids. But her relationship is terrible. She is unhappy with her husband. It's not going to take long for Portia to be unhappy with her husband. She is unhappy. What are you doing, Simon? Where the fuck are you? Simon is with another female. <laughs> he got himself another female. This one is very young. What is she? She's Nigerian. She's like 19. He's taking her out. She's very light in complexion. You know those girls, the Katozinhas, the ones who go after the rich man. Simon is paying her attention. Simon is giving her a lot. She's the next wife coming on the board. She is slim with a big ass. She keeps her hair very short if it's not in weaves or braids. She, she is... She looks very calm. Her demeanor is very calm and very sweet. She looks very naive. She looks like one of those Nigerian city girls, the ones who, 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 who are just in the city. She looks naive. She ain't naive, but she looks naive. And she is saying, oh, well, what can I do? I need to be provided for, so what can I do? He can do with my energy what I can't do with it. As long as he takes care of me, I won't complain because I'm so tired of being poor. I won't complain. So he's busy and that's why Portia is struggling with her husband. He is wearing, he really likes these loud colors. He's wearing like this peach colored suit with a shirt that's open, an open shirt. And you know, he's trying to look much younger than he actually is as he courts this girl. But this girl, her mind is very calculating. It's very dark. She puts on a good act as fellow African women would know that we do sometimes put, she puts on a good act of innocence and sweetness but she knows what he's after and she's like she keeps on saying to me as long as he marries me i'm good as long as he marries me i'm good in her handbag there is juju she has juju in her handbag to make him want to marry her to make him want to marry her and use her she says i'm very tired there are no opportunities over here in nigeria there's no life here in nigeria i don't care about him taking me to America, I don't care. As long as I have a nice house and I have my children and I'm called his wife, I'll be very happy here. I'm not very ambitious. I may have good energy, but I'm not very ambitious. So he can use it as long as I get mine. So wife who is busy <laughs> steps in and she says, but you're not gonna get yours. For what he takes, he never gives us enough. And that's why I'm angry. It's never enough. So I'm asking her if she knows about Portia. And she said, I do, but that's a broken relationship. So, because I'm seeing the future. I've gone into the future and I've been told, stop, she, stop, 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 stop. So go backwards. I've been told, go back. Because I'm like... I reached where he has white, white, white hair and a white beard and he's an old, old man and he is kind of poor. But he has a son who is doing exactly the same thing, was keeping him taken care of. You know what I'm saying? That's where I reached. So grandma says, go back, go back, go back. So let's ask about Portia. Portia back. Two years from now, where will you be? She'll still be with Simon. But it'll be a hazy being with Simon. Maybe too much darkness has been thrown. She is planning on having at least three children with him. 
it's going to be difficult. Not impossible because he needs the connection of blood between the two of them. So Simon is going to help out here. He's going to help out to sort of remove his other wife's uh, shenanigans. But I don't know. Do we see a child? Do we see a child? We're really having trouble. Do we see a child? Grandma Notando says, no, we don't see a child. If that child, if they, if they are children between Portia and this man, they are not coming from the light. She says it's all shrouded. We don't see one. So what happens five years from now? Portia will be on her own. There'll be no husband. She'll be living on her own. There'll be no husband. Also, her fame would have gone. Because that's what happens when you're being harvested, right? They take from you. Her fame would be gone. Portia would be on her own. Okay? What's going to happen in between that? Grandma Notando said, of course, lots of juju. Can't can you see that the wives are all getting ready to fire their shots and some of them are already firing their shots. Lots of juju and lots of her stuff will be taken away from her. Lots of her stuff. So Simon is going to continue doing what Simon does. god okay yeah he's gonna continue doing what he does okay that's what he's gonna do okay so let me check every i i'm trying to remove the other wives so that i can see where this relationship is gonna go so i'm going to say bye simon's wife bye simon's wife bye simon's wife oh grandma says put your hand in the water and ask this is actually a traumatic relationship. Guys, have you ever have you ever been in a relationship where you are actually happy that your partner lives far away from you? You know? <laughs> because the relationship works so well when you're talking on the phone and when you're just seeing each other once in a while and and and, and when, when you're having sex once in a while but you're being showered with what you need from him or her right this is Portia. the sex is not good when she becomes the one who has to give it all the time because he's around it it wanes she begins to dread having sex with him i'm actually seeing her dreading it she begins to dread it and she begins to think oh my god maybe the dildo is better the more she spends time with this man permanently the darker she's beginning to see and feel he is she's like sitting here talking to her mother saying i don't know what to do i don't know what to do she's gonna become afraid of him She's going to become afraid of Simon. She's going to become afraid of Simon. She's going to discover some of the truths, but not all of the truths. So is this juju that's being sent to her for her to be afraid of him? I get a no. I get a no from the water. I get that she's very spiritual in her own way. And she'll finally realize that shit is going to go down. In about 10 years, these two people will not be talking or seeing each other, children between them or not. They will split for permanently in about 10 years. Because she becomes so afraid. So afraid of him. She barricades herself, literally barricading herself. There's another husband coming to Portia. Portia gets husbands. Uh, there's another husband coming to Portia. Another relationship eight years from now. She would have started it a lot earlier than eight years from now. But there's another husband, another relationship that is on its way for Portia. And for him, he'll keep jolling. As South Africans, as, 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 as the biracial community in Southern Africa says, he'll keep jolling. He'll keep doing him. 
he'll keep doing him so are the wives going to succeed once again i've been told to put my hand in water okay for every question i'm asking otherwise yes all of them they are succeeding right now in breaking her down some of them are also harvesting her energy that's what this woman is doing under by using below her foot she's harvesting her energy she says why not i better as well get some energy to do something with my life some of them are harvesting her energy as well so she has a lot of harvesters right so they're not only jujuing her to kick it out of their husband's life she, Oh, she says to make her tired quickly. We have to make her tired. That, that That's how you make them go crazy. You make them tired. You make them go crazy. They can't handle it. They leave. They are succeeding. So what's going to happen because of the juju? She's going to do the, you know, it's a tamar. She's going to do the tamar gonna lose her mind a little bit which will affect her working yeah she's gonna lose her mind you know her ex-husband uh a Porsche's ex-husband who was totally totally abusive no matter what he says this is also the same situation Porsche has literally thrown herself from the frying pan into the fire mm-hmm same situation exactly this man is is his wife says he's not abusive by our standards by african standards he's not abusive but by african-american standards because they have no culture he's abusive her words the one who is taking things uh, doing things to her under her feet so tell me what will you be doing in Portia's house checking out the competition and putting my seeds my seeds of destruction she's very stupid she's so open about herself and open about everything and she has no protection whatsoever she is not protected at all you used to be like that you were not protected but you're getting there she's very stupid she was not protected at all so that's what i'm doing i'm, I'm putting my seeds inside her body and my seeds in her house you know so that you know when they grow good things for me will happen So, you know, I was thinking that all these women were just innocent and they really don't know what their husband does to them and what have you. But it appears that they do know. It appears that it's part of a contract, uh, maybe an unspoken one, but it's a contract all the same. And that's why they react so when a new person comes in because they claim their husband's wealth. Okay, so that was my revelation for the day. They claim, this is what I'm seeing, like they are not ignorant, they are not victims. The only ignorant one is, is Portia, before that it was Fallon, right? They know exactly what their husband is about. They know this is what he does and they are okay with it as long as they are provided for and as long as they live a good life. Basically, it's a case of you can have my energy if you're going to give me money, if you're going to take care of me, you know, make me live in a, uh, give me a mansion in the Mercedes Benz. You can have my energy. You can use it. That's the deal he has between him and his wives, except the wives who don't know. Okay. Now I want to close off. They are really okay with it. Okay. So I was going to call Fallon into the plate 
Fallon and uh, because we see that lots of deals were struck between Fallon, Portia and Simon and being on Real Housewives of Atlanta was part of it. So, Portia, she still comes in looking like a rabbit. And the darkness is really coming closer and closer and closer to her. Okay, Fallon. Fallon. Here's a very cold-hearted woman. She is coming out as... She's very cold. Fallon is very, very cold. She's a cold-hearted woman. She almost gives me the impression of... Caucasian. <laughs> Each race has its own thing. Caucasians can be the coldest motherfuckers. And she has that energy. She has the cold Caucasian energy. She She's not loving at all to anything or anyone, including herself. She is very cutthroat, very hardcore. I haven't watched Real Housewives of Atlanta this year. I didn't get to watch it. I was in too many battles. I didn't get to meet this new housewife. But she, she is Caucasian called. Okay, I'll just say it. Because each race has its own characteristics. And she couldn't be bothered and she saw the affair between Simon and Portia as her opportunity to leave the marriage she said I couldn't leave not being broke I'm broke I don't have any money I'm broke Simon had all held all the purse strings I never got anything out of him how could I get anything out of him he has so many wives and they are always getting stuff out of him but I didn't get anything at all so I needed a job. I needed, yeah, I needed money. I need money. And Portia was my way out of my poverty. So you did do the contract. Okay, Portia and Fallon. Portia and Fallon. Portia and Fallon. Show me your relationship, ladies. This is a very close relationship. My grandma, uh, not under says in, 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 in that one was using the other. In that one was using the other. So this is Portia. This is Fallon. Fallon has been pregnant. This is so fucking, yeah. Fallon has been pregnant very recently. Fallon got, was pregnant very recently. Okay. This is Portia. This is Fallon. Portia has all the money. Portia is dragging all the money and Fallon wants Portia's money. So I, now I understand what is being said here. What is being said here. Like she needed Portia to set her up and give her fame. But it's not really going to work in Fallon's favor. Fallon's life is going down because guess what? She may be divorcing her husband, but her husband is still harvesting her. And is harvesting her big time. And a lot of uh, her metaphysical wealth has been diverted to the husband and it's no longer in, to the ex-husband and it's no longer in her, in her uh, metaphysicality. And she doesn't even realize this. She just wants to get out. She is um, desperate. She's extremely desperate. All, all we are getting here is the energy of absolute desperation and being frantic. She didn't want the divorce. She wanted to stay in the marriage because she has no money. But in the end, she had to work with what she, she had. And Portia gave her money. Money exchanged hands between Fallon and Portia. Portia paid her off. But when you see where the money is coming from that paid wifey off, it is coming from the man who is claiming both women's metaphysicalities. So she got money. And Real Housewives of Atlanta and money. 
I don't, I don't, I don't know what they were doing on. I, I now I can had. I wish I could watch it, but she got money, guys. She got lots and lots of money, and so um, Portia had to let go of money, but it was really coming from that man. So Portia had got the better deal out of the two women. But do you see what I'm saying about harvesting? Fallon had all the money, and now she's broke. Metaphysically, Fallon is a very rich woman, richer metaphysically than um, Portia. But you know what? All that wealth was chanted on by the husband. He's literally chanting. All that wealth was chanted on by the husband. And she has zero dollars in her metaphysicality. She's going to suffer. Financially, she's going to suffer. She is talking about being with a man. And when we look in the water. <sighs> she is with a man, but he doesn't love her. He's using her to be known. He's using it to be known. And money from someone is not going to come. Ooh, she's going to be in poverty. She's going to be in poverty. And that's that. I think this was exciting. I did learn a couple of new things. I actually like to read in water. But I'm so used to the shells. It's very sad. Yeah, grandma knows how to say that's very sad. <laughs> yeah so thank you everybody and enjoy and this was fun for me to read way fun bye oh no 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 grandma notado says how can you forget your trademark you you want you you want your grandma to call me a floozy you've got to say good kind words <laughs> she said it all that garbage See, that's some fuckery. We are metaphysical scientists. We ain't got time to be nice and kind. Then she says, you're too emotional. She's saying that to me. You're too emotional. Too sentimental. Too all that. So do your thing before I get yelled at for being a floozy. So, okay, people. This week was the hardest week ever for me. And also the most healing week. And I am grateful to God. I am grateful to my ancestors. I am grateful to all the energies that held my hands through through it all. And I am grateful to you all for listening to my rumbling and raving. I am so grateful. So be kind to yourselves as I was to myself this week. Be kind to others. Stand on your truth as much as you can, as I did. Because there is healing no matter the pain. The pain can be devastating, but there is healing. I'm healing. I'm healing. And I wish the same for you. Okay? So be safe. Be safe. Coronavirus, she's doing her thing. Be safe. Much love. See you next time.